what, 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 how well, how well, what, one says, Wilmer, what, Wilmer, what, noodle, it will, will, eight, seven, eight, shotgun, what, uh, what, Thanksgiving, what, 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 out, for your, uh, uh, enjoyment. That there, everyone, is my best Elmer Fudd impression. So why am I talking about the Looney Tunes character Elmer Fudd? Because we are doing a little re review and loadout on the 870 shotgun, which mildly looks like the shotgun Elmer Fudd carried. So, this is Operation Elmer Fudd, urban style. Elmer Fudd didn't exactly hunt in cities and, and streets like this, but you know what? In Battlefield 4, this is as close as we're getting to Elmer Fudd here, where you can actually use an 870 shotgun. Because I'm not going out on the uh, Go Mud Railroad and running around with a shotgun. That won't be too enjoyable for you guys to watch. So, what we're doing today, we're doing a little review on the different shells of the 870 shotgun. It is Thanksgiving week, so this is also the Thanksgiving loadout. In America here, in the United States of America, we hunt turkeys, and this is pretty much the standard shotgun that you would use to hunt turkeys. And so we're going to stick with the hunter loadout here, and all the shells you possibly could use to hunt turkeys with, and run along those lines. And if anybody knows anything about turkey hunting, you know that turkeys are smart animals. Well, for the most part, most players are smarter than your average animal, but not all Battlefield 4 players may be as smart as a turkey. So you have to be camouflaged. So I'm running the black shark camel on my shotgun here, because I just think that's the coolest camel in Battlefield 4. And we are using pretty much as close to the Elmer Fun loadout at the moment as we can. At this point, I'm using Buckshot, Iron Sights, and the full choke. And if anyone doesn't know what a choke is, a choke actually inserts to the end of a shotgun, and it makes the end of the shotgun slightly smaller. And what this does is it controls the spread on the shot as it extends. And this is important if you're going real turkey hunting because you want to be as far as away from that smart animal as you can in order to hunt it. And just like in real life, in Battlefield 4, this extends the range on the shotgun. But I do have to say, up close, it is kind of weird. I'm not sure if the dice has this quite optimized. As you can see right here, I have this guy in the hitbox multiple times, and a couple times I didn't even get a hit marker on him. I experienced this quite a few times using the full choke with buckshot, and... I'm not sure if it was something I was doing, but honestly it felt like the full choke and buckshot just weren't working quite right. Almost almost like the hits weren't registering. Because it felt, just felt inconsistent. At about 6 meters, I found it would hit pretty much every time. But as I found it got a little farther out, and as guys were moving, it wouldn't always hit. And there were a couple times where, like... I know I hit the person, and it just didn't register, and I would die. But maybe that's something Dice will find that is wrong, but or maybe I'm just screwing up. It happens. But overall, it's, it's a pretty seriously good loadout for somebody who wants a running gun with a shotgun. <coughs> See me mowing these guys down? You do have to be pretty tactical with the 870 because it is a pump shotgun. Here I have the duck bill on the end of the shotgun. The, the duck bill goes in place of the full choke, and it actually spreads the shot sideways. Instead of keeping the shot closer together, it actually spreads it along a horizontal plane. And it honestly wasn't my favorite, favorite attachment to the shotgun. It did work pretty well. In situations like this, where you'd be shooting over a counter, where the shots would spread over top of the counter pretty well, and if you do have a, and honestly for, for the 870 because it's a pump action, it's not semi-auto, you don't get that quick follow-up shot, it's pretty decent for leading your target if you're not that experienced with a shotgun. 
but overall I don't think it does as much damage because it doesn't focus the shot as well as the full choke. And as a result, it just kind of seems to lack a little bit. And just, it just leaves you, leaves you wanting more. But, in the next session of this, we will see the best choke for the 870. And here we can see, I have unlocked the modified choke. And I definitely think there is a reason that the modified choke is the last choke to be unlocked. Because for close quarters situations, there's no beating it. It is by far the best option for using buckshot. Just buckshot. For using the dart rounds, or in Battlefield 3 they were known as the flechette. And or the slug. This is not a good choke to use. And it actually says on the battle log page, not good for slugs. Because for slugs, you don't want a choke. It does you absolutely no good. But for a close, situ close situation, out to about 10 meters, the modified choke is unbeatable. It's definitely unmatched. It will take down whatever you want in one shot. And that's what you want for a pump action shotgun. When you're using a semi-auto shotgun, you can get away with a little bit more because if you miss that first shot, it's only a click away. As fast as you can click, you'll unload that thing. But for a pump shotgun, being on target the first time, having the right spread, that makes a huge difference because you have to you have to make that shot. Especially when you run up against guys with assault rifles and machine guns. They're spraying bullets. You've got that one chance to hit them. Luckily, because the shotgun has spread, you've got a little bit bigger area. And because the shotgun shoots out several pellets at the same time, it does a lot more damage than one bullet would from any machine gun. But definitely for close to close situations, there's no beating the modified choke. I definitely had some fun with this modified choke. But coming up next, you will see what I I think it was it was actually surprising. I didn't expect this loadout to work at all but it was fantastic I couldn't believe it as you can right, see right here I unlocked the dart round and I'm gonna show you my loadout I used for the dart round I just I unlocked it and I'm like ah, I'm not sure how it's gonna go with this so I decided I'm gonna full choke this thing and keep the, the dart round I'm gonna keep my sight I'm going to put the full choke on it. Let's just see how this thing works for a long range weapon. I had no idea how this would work, but I was shocked by what I found. This setup pretty much turns the 870 shotgun into pretty much the best mid-range sniper rifle I've ever experienced. Look at this. This thing is one-shotting, guys. That's probably about 35 meters across this this lobby here. And it is hitting them in one shot and just taking them down. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I had so much fun with this. I think I'm going to keep using this loadout. It was so much fun. I mean, up close and personal, this isn't your best round. For a hip fire, a hip fire round, I wouldn't recommend using it. But for cross little lobbies, cross like alleys, it was it was the best. <laughs> I mean, I was I was flabbergasted with it. I couldn't believe how good it was. As you can see here, I'm also using the um, flashbang for the first time. Definitely cool. Definitely try the flashbang out. Works great when you're using setup like this where you're a little bit disadvantaged because you're using a pump action weapon. Having that flashbang which completely disorients the enemy definitely gives you an advantage. But definitely when you're using this setup that's the flechette and or dart round as it's now called with the full choke you want to keep your distance. You want to keep this nice 30 meters 10, 20 meters is all right. You definitely want to keep aiming down sights. It's I found it's the most accurate ADSing. 
and I'm telling you, it's better than any sniper rifle. Because with a sniper rifle, you have that one bullet, which is 0.3 of an inch wide. Whereas with this, it does the same damage, kills them in one shot. But you've got spread. You've got that nice, probably by the time you get there, probably chest size spread as long as you're hitting them. And it, it takes them out. I just, I can't say enough, this is an awesome loadout for any team deathmatch. Pretty much, do I'm playing a domination here. This is a really good loadout. As long as you're kind of playing in the background a little bit, keep your distance, you're going to have great success with this loadout. That's my Elmer Fudd video for today, guys. I do appreciate you watching my videos. I, As I say in all my videos, if I have earned your subscription, please subscribe. If not, I'll just keep making videos anyways. But if I have earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button. I've got some pretty cool ideas coming up I think you guys are going to really like. I'm going to start a series here pretty soon. I'm trying to make you guys better players that I, I don't think anybody has ever done. And if successful, I think, I think you guys would really like it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. But until next time, guys, my name is Noodle. And in true Looney Tunes fashion, that's all, folks. Mm -hmm.